Roger Goodell um, said this about uh, skipping the Patriots game. Quote, there was some safety concerns about going to Gillette Stadium. He told our friend Colin Cowherd, listen, Colin, we had two great games. No, we didn't. We had two terrible games. Those were terrible football games. I mean, like, uh, if you're a Falcons fan, it was great. But no one empirically is like, hey, remember 2017. That's one of the best games I've ever seen. Will anybody say that? Adam, you're a Falcons fan. Will anybody reference that as one of the greatest games they've ever seen? Absolutely. For Falcons fans. Outside of that? No. Okay. Um, I was in Boston two years ago for the divisional and conference game, conference championship games. I try to get as many stadiums as I can. I'm on a stadium tour here, right? I got bucket lists to get to. I had to get to the Georgia Dome before they blew it up. We have two great games. You got to choose one. Frankly, the focus should be on the players. Uh, he was asked about his relationship with the Patriots owner, Robert, Robert Kraft. I wouldn't be doing my job if somebody wasn't unhappy with the decision you make. Robert and I can disagree about certain things. We have a healthy relationship, but that's true with any owner. I can't agree with everybody at every moment, and I shouldn't. There's a lot of issues that can be issues between teams. Obviously, we have to discipline our clubs. That's part of the process, and we do that with the clubs when there's a violation of policy. It's not personal. It's professional. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this for any other reason than I love you, right? It's like what you tell your kid before you spank them or after you. He was asked about handing Tom Brady the trophy, whether or not it would be uh, awkward. And he said, no, it would be an honor. It would be an honor. Yeah, it'll be awkward. But like, what are you going to do? There's, there's just awkward times. That's no different than in my position when you rip a coach, rip a player or say something should be different or whatever. Uh, and you have to go and interview that player. Like, it's awkward, but, like, that's what you get paid to do. It's okay. It's okay for a coach to say something about a reporter or about a, about an analyst. And then, like, you're in the same room and, like, hey, I was mad or I thought you were out of line or I just didn't think you were that good that day. Like, okay. It's okay. I, I think here's what I honestly believe. Most fans carry bias. They do. They carry bias. And so they assume that analysts carry the same bias that they do. Right? When they don't. Most guys don't really care who wins. You pick you have to pick between one or two teams, you pick a team. You got and then you got to find a reason why. You got to support your answer. Right? Most fans not only carry that bias, but they also uh have some historic knowledge and think that that is there's a, there's a correlation of history when that's not really even true. You can't five, ten years ago is five, ten years ago. The only thing matters is on the court. When Steve Ojazzi is like, narratives don't matter. Winning games matters. Duke coaches don't win until they do, right? Um, and I think that a lot of fans have super, super, super thin skin. And if you're going to be in athletics, you don't. It doesn't mean that every guy in athletics has thick skin, but most of them do. Most of them have been criticized by people that matter. And so when fans criticize them, as long as it doesn't get personal, it doesn't really matter. It just doesn't. And so with that in mind, I think that people look at Roger Goodell like, oh, it's going to be awkward, going to be awkward, like, hmm. He missed four games. It was totally trumped up. But a lot of it, a lot of it uh, is posturing from the NFL. Like, I don't think the NFL actually thought they would get the four games to stick. I thought they thought Brady would give in. Brady would relent. All right. I had, if I, I, I'll admit some sort of fault and I'll take the one game. And I'm sure Brady thought, like, this thing will get knocked down by the courts. It did for a year. It went away. No, it didn't. It's kind of like a rash. Like, hey, is that back? Oh. But I do think that there's a certain... I, I don't think he's being honest about the reason he was in Atlanta. I think he, the, reason he was in, the reason he was in Foxborough... Two years ago was CBS had the game, CBS had the Super Bowl. And the reason he was in Atlanta was Fox had the game, Fox has a Super Bowl. And the reason he was in Atlanta the week before, and it just looks bad. I don't know. But whatever reason, they're not, they don't, they don't talk about the relationship with their rights holders in public. 
like Fight Club. Weird. But honestly, when the Atlanta game was over and the trophy was presented, he could have gotten on a plane and would have made it in time to present the trophy in Foxborough. Right? You catch the second half? I mean, like, if you can't, like, that's a baller move, isn't it?